followed VMware has virtualization in its name. VMware did not invent virtualization. Yeah? Back in the 50s, when the first computer was created and the first operating system was, was written, there was already a virtualization. Yeah? That was the, the, the role of the operating system. Yeah? Uh, and then maybe there are some mainframe people here. So IBM and mainframe had virtualization from the very beginning. Yeah? They even have a product called VM, virtual machine. Yeah? And the mainframe was always run in the virtualized environment. And uh, IBM called it l part, logical partition. Yeah? So there is no mainframe in the world which is not virtualized. One is, I would say, easier one, where you allow be between your Virtualized environment, yeah. You rely on the operating system, yeah. So there is a hardware, there is a kernel of Windows or Linux, and about this you have uh, virtualized, virtualized environment. Yeah. We have products also in this space. This is uh, workstations, which is from my laptop, or uh, VMware Server. Yeah. This is something I would I would uh, say it's an entry point to virtualization. By the way. With VMware Server, which is this hosted approach, is available for free. Yeah. There is no license charge, so you can download it from our site, and this is the, the way probably how to start with virtualization. Mm -hmm. Then there is a so-called bare metal approach. It's a real virtualization where our code is really on the hardware. Yeah. And then you start to build virtual, your virtualized environment. So there is no operating system between hardware and our code. This is the bare metal. This is our, so to say, flagship product. Yeah? This is where we started. Uh, we are running in the, now in the third. So basically, without virtualization, this is your, I would say, traditional approach, dominated by the hardware. Yeah, you run usually single OS on your hardware, and if you want to grow, yeah, you usually have to add another server. Yeah. Virtualized approach or server uh, software dominated. Yeah. So this breaks this, these dependencies. Yeah. It's uh, <coughs> I'm rather new to to VMware, yeah? and I used to be in this storage space, rock solid hardware, yeah? everything is real. Yeah? And when I first installed the workstation, yeah? it's really, it takes some time to understand that everything is there, yeah? but it's virtual. Yeah? Like disk is virtual, NIC is virtual, uh, network interface card, uh, HPA, Postbus adapter, access to the storage is virtual, everything is virtual. Yeah? So you, you're Server is there, is is one to one, yeah? but it's the same. It's a set of files. Yeah? It's nothing else but a set of files. And at least I had to, you know, spend some time to get it. Okay, so key features of virtualization partitioning. That means you have one hardware and you slice it. You usually slice. Graphically, we represent it like we are slicing it vertically, and your applications or your virtual machines are running really uh, completely separate. Yeah? They, they hope, they believe that they are running in their own dedicated car environment. Isolation, there is no interaction. Every application or every virtual machine is isolated, so there is no chance that one will do something wrong to the other. There are no crashes if, uh, caused by the others. Yeah. Encapsulation, I mentioned already, your hardware, your server is now virtualized into the set of files. Yeah. Few files being virtualized. And hardware independence. Yeah. Of course, we do testing. Yeah. So we, on our website, you can find a, a document which is called Hardware Compatibility List. Uh, but basically all major brands are supported and uh, you can create your virtual environment on 
flights for desk desk side servers. Whether it's from IBM, whether it's from HP, whether it's from Samsung, Sun, you can basically work really hardware independent. You we don't look on the brand. If you look on something, we look on the CPU, on the CPU generation, yeah, for the most advanced features. Okay, so what is the result? Uh, you can now run more applications on one server. You can run more operating system on one server. And not only this, you can create a fully virtualized environment on your server farm. Yeah? So you are not, not more like server A, B, C, D. Yeah? You are measuring your IT capacity in terms of megahertz or gigahertz now, in terms of consolidated RAM and in terms of consolidated space. Yeah? So the provisioning of such environment doesn't mean I need two servers, uh, two times three or two gigahertz CPUs. Yeah? You are provisioning one, I need 10 gigahertz, I need 64 gigabyte RAM, and I need two terabyte space. This is, this is how you define a server, your virtualized server. 